Okay, so before we start, real quickly, I wanted to just say that I changed around some settings on my OBS to try and get my microphone to sound better, and for some reason, after I finished, I didn't realize that I didn't have an input device for my desktop, so there is no game audio in this video, but to be honest, Deer Hunter 2005's audio wasn't super great, and it's not very necessary anyway, so I hope you guys can look past that, but yeah, just wanted to say that real quickly. Hello everybody, we are back here on Deer Hunter 2005, and real quickly I wanted to say thank you to Johnny the Hunter, who is actually my brother, and Destin's Gaming for letting me know that there actually is a way that we can watch the wildlife. I forgot that this was even a thing in here, so we're gonna real quickly go in here and examine the wildlife before we actually start our hunt. Let's go ahead and put it into Expert, and let's go take a look at them because I really want to show you guys a lot of the racks, but since I usually hunt in expert difficulty, it's kind of hard to showcase a lot of the variation that they have. So I think that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to go into the wildlife and check it out. So let's go ahead and select the map first because we do have to select our map before we go there. So I think, yeah, we'll keep it Illinois because that is where we hunted last time towards the end of the video. So let's go ahead and check them out and see what the deer are like. This was such a cool feature that this uh, game had. Absolutely awesome that they incorporated something like this. Where you can just cycle through all of the animals. There is a buck right there. Now let's turn off automatic camera. Then we can zoom and turn it around. Such a nice buck. Look at that beautiful animal. Go ahead and look through some of the others. A lot of does, unfortunately. Ooh, let's go back to this little guy. Look at that little spike. Pretty awesome, but this right here is a true giant. Absolutely monster deer. Look at these little extra brow tines he's got. That's really cool. I like that a lot. He's got those little stickers off his brows. It's pretty cool. There's a smaller one. More does. And that's actually a decent sized buck too. Yeah, there's some nice white tail. Definitely some nice white tail. Ooh, look at that beast. Look at the drop time on that guy. Now, unfortunately, it creates a new population every time you go into one of these, so we won't be able to find this one unless we get lucky and one spawns with the same rack. But that's so cool. This is something I really hope that uh, Call of the Wilds non-typicals are like. I hope we have some that just have single giant drop tines. And now we get on to the random wildlife. And now we're back to some deer. But yeah, this is a pretty cool feature. We're back to the beginning now. So as you can see, there's not really too much different uh, bucks on the map. There's only like five or between like five and ten bucks in expert mode. So that's why we don't really see too many. It is difficult to find them. But this is how you get the big bucks. You have to go into expert mode. Any of the other difficulties are significantly less chances of finding a big buck. But yeah, I just thought I'd real quickly show this off. So let's go out of this and get into an actual hunt now. All right, so I think we're going to head out to the Colorado Flatlands because they do have mule deer and whitetail, so that's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, we'll keep the weather and season as they are. Uh, maybe we'll put the start time to 7 a.m. And then real quickly, we'll go through the guns we're going to be using today. So I want to use something a little bit different since we've kind of shown off a few different ones already. Let's go to something we have not used yet. So let's go with... Let's do the 375 pump rifle. And then as a secondary, let's go ahead and go with the 7mm autoloader. I think that'll be a couple nice guns to use and we'll see how they perform. Let's go ahead and go out and hunt. We actually have a buck right in front of us, or actually that's a doe. Okay, so that is a doe, thankfully. I was going to say, kind of unfortunate that we spooked a buck that early, but it wasn't a buck after all. Just on initial glance, it kind of looked like it was, so I thought that maybe we had spawned on a buck, but it is indeed just a doe. So let's keep looking around, see if we can find ourselves our first buck. Ooh, is that... That is a buck. 
it's a spike, but still a buck nonetheless. If he gives us a shot, we'll probably take it. Go. There's that buck. It's at 200 meters at the moment. So, I don't know how to crouch. There we go. I was going to say, we need to get crouched. And then we'll try and take a shot on him. I did see something behind him. Looks like it was just a little doe, though. Yeah, that is a doe. Actually, it's a fawn. So I guess we will take this little spike buck. Doesn't seem like there's anything else around here. So let's go ahead and find him again. And then get lined up for a shot. There he is. Let's go ahead and get lined up with the 375. Here in Deer Hunter 05, we shoot deer with a 375. Yet in Call of the Wild, we can't even shoot a red deer with a 300 Magnum. Gotta love it. Do need to get this guy to go broadside though. That should be a hit. I couldn't imagine any reason why it wouldn't be. Although he is running far. Alright, so that buck is still alive. And he's right there. I think we're just going to use the 7mm this time. That should put him down. Just in case. Oh yeah, he's actually going down. Let's go ahead and just drop him right now. There we go. So not the cleanest kill. And not the biggest buck in the world. But we have a buck down. And that's all that really matters. We can also get our doe down real quickly too since we haven't killed a doe yet. There she goes. I need to get used to how much travel time the bullets have in this game. Once I get that down, we should be able to hit these running shots a little more consistently. We're not doing too bad, to be honest, though. A lot better than I expected to be doing. Alright, so here's that little spike. This is a really small spike, actually. This is smaller than the one that we saw in the little preview. That's interesting. So there's multiple sizes of spikes, even. This game honestly was ahead of its time. The Deer Hunter series always had a lot more variation when it comes to antlers than pretty much any other hunting game of its time. It was truly crazy how good of a game this was back then. It still is a really good game. Unfortunately, it just doesn't hold up to other games like the Hunter Classic and Call of the Wild because of the old, outdated graphics, pretty much. That's honestly what it comes down to, and the difficulty of finding this game. Because this is not an easy game to get. If I didn't have one from when I was a kid, then I'd have so much trouble finding a copy nowadays. There we go, there's a buck. A six-point white-tailed deer. I think we honestly found the two smallest bucks on the entire map. But they are still bucks nonetheless, so... Let's see how far away this guy is. He's about 275. That's going to be a far shot, but I think we can maybe hit it. Let's try it. I believe that was a hit. Oh yeah, we definitely hit him. Maybe a little bit high even. See if we can put a second one in him. Before he goes down. And he's already down actually. Let's go up and clean this guy. He's bigger than the first buck that we shot, but still not a giant. We'll probably jump into another map right after this. I really want to try and get through as many different custom maps as we possibly can because there's been so many that people have created and a lot of them they did a really good job on. So I do want to try and get through as many of them as we can during this series. I think it'll be really cool to check out all of them. Although it'll take quite some time to get through all of the maps because there is probably over 150 currently. So yeah, we'll try to get through as many as we can. Who knows how long it will take but we'll do our best. But anyway, here is that buck right here. Nothing crazy, but a decent little white tail. It is a typical from the looks of it. Let's go ahead and bag it. Scored 108. 
All right, let's go end the hunt and then check them out because we have filled all of our tags. All right, so here's the box. Now, this one actually had one antler bigger than the other, which is pretty cool. And then here's our little spike. That was not the greatest shots in the world. One of my shots even hit the ear. Uh, we'll just kind of ignore that. And, ooh, wow. Okay, so that long range shot we took, we aimed here and hit here. So there's definitely some inaccuracy going on. Either some inaccuracies or maybe the wind was coming into play a little bit. And then this is the one that we got last time. This is so far what we have to beat. 187 is the biggest one we have. Let's go ahead and delete the does. I don't ever keep these in here because I feel it's pointless. But uh, let's go ahead and select another location. All right, so let's go to the Dreamcatcher map because they have Blacktail and Roe Deer, which are a couple of the deer species we have not checked out yet. So I think that's going to be awesome. Actually, that is the only two that we haven't checked out. So we definitely want to see both of them. I am real quickly going to make a new gun because I don't really like the ones that we're working with. I want to get something different. All right, so I've decided to make a 30-06 bolt action rifle with a 4 to 12 scope. This is the coloration that I decided to go with it. I think that looks really clean, so that's what we're going to use on this next hunt. So let's go ahead and equip that. And then as our secondary rifle, I guess we will go with the 30-06 lever, just so we have a lever and a bolt action 30-06. That way we can test them out and compare the two and see if there's any differences. Let's go ahead and start the hunt. Okay, so already I'm really liking the look of this map. It's a pretty cool looking map. Now, the uh, GPS isn't too much of a help because as you can see, uh, just like the map said, it's a dream catcher. So yeah, we're not gonna be able to really navigate like where hills are and stuff, but I guess we're gonna go north because we did start in the south. So we'll head north and hopefully we can run into a big black tail buck or a monster roebuck. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that black tail deer. Ah, uh, we need to get this guy down. Running right at us. <laughs> That's a big buck. Definitely a good one. We got him. Let's go. That is a nice looking black tail deer. Ah, uh, now that I see a little bit closer though, he does have one antler smaller than the other, so that is going to hurt his score. But that's awesome. We got ourselves a good black tail, and he is rolling down the hill. Let's go ahead and claim him, and then at the end of the hunt, we'll get a look at him in the trophy lodge. That is so nice, though. We actually got ourselves a decent buck, and I see something over there, too. Just a roe deer fawn, unfortunately. We do need to find a roe deer. I would like to see a nice roe deer buck. Because it's been quite some time since I've actually went for roe deer in this game. And it'd be really cool if we could get one. Alright, so I've been recording for about 56 minutes now. And we haven't been able to find a second buck. I think it's been roughly 20 minutes since we got that black tail. And I have yet to find another buck at all. And we just reached the edge of the hunting reserve. Awesome. Well, I think we're just going to go ahead and exit and go check out that buck because I am not finding anything. I feel like that map's just empty. But there we go. There is that black tail deer. This one is actually not even a record class one. Okay. It's not even a record book buck. But it is a typical. Not too bad. A decent one for sure. This one is classed as an 8 point, even though it's got this little sticker off the side. They don't count that though. Yeah, not too bad of a buck. Definitely a decent one. But I think that's going to be it for this video because I've been recording for quite some time and I don't want this video to be super, super long for you guys, but we got to check out a couple maps and look at the, uh, the wildlife mode a little bit so you guys could see some of the different racks and stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll be sure to do another one of these. Let me know what you guys would like to see because I am definitely interested. There's so much to do in this game when it comes to different maps and different guns. The possibilities are really endless. So if you guys have any suggestions or requests, please leave them in the comments down below. But that's going to be it for this video. 
If you are new here and you are liking what you see, consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on. Also, if you want to help the channel grow, be sure to like the video because this alone can help the video and my channel do better. But that's going to be it for me. Peace, my dudes. I hope you all have a fantastic day.